December the 4th in the year 2018, and the bride is still here. Before we begin with our good morning YouTube and have our coffee together, I want to share scripture with you from the book of Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. Again, the word of the Lord came upon me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of my people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand from the book of Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. Good morning, YouTube, my beautiful, wonderful, glorious, simply amazing, fascinating, Holy Spirit filled on fire, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Blessed hope, are you rapture ready? Rapture ready, precious brothers and sisters, gather around, pull up a chair, let me know what you're going to share with PD. As we begin this day together, guess what I have? Can you guess? I have coffee with cream, no sugar. You take your coffee, do you even drink coffee? Or do you drink tea? Are you going to have some hot cocoa? Let me know in the comment section below. Down to my last last <laughs> little drop heading out to Flint, Michigan this morning with our ministry and outreach to the homeless I'll be in Burton, Michigan delivering some winter jackets for some children I'll be in Flint, Michigan I'll be in Mount Morris, Michigan uh, this morning with our ministry what a glorious night glorious and Holy Spirit filled night with our live church it's, it's just a live fellowship if you don't have a home church Come join us when we go live with our live fellowship. Just healings. The presence of the Holy Spirit is overwhelming in that room. Ministry announcements. I want to, once again, I just want to acknowledge uh, Brother Richard. And he said it's okay to give his last name. So it's W-H-I-T-M-A-N. It's Whitman or Whiteman, Richard. And uh, I got your voicemail. I get so busy I can't even get to the phone and I did give Brother Kevin your phone number. So he he did ask for the phone number and I have given it to him. So maybe the two of you can connect and, and the fellowship. I know it's hard for Richard from Rochester, New York to make it to our live online church. I know he's working at the time that we go live. He is working. So I want to thank him again for uh, he, every week, it seems like every week he gives to this ministry. And this time, $120 to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. I want to thank Virginia for yesterday, a $50 love offering, the hands and feet of Jesus. And I want to thank, um, all I've got for the name is Rivers, uh, $1 and a little note that it's all that she had. It's all that she could afford to give. It's all that she had. And Father God doesn't look at the, the amount. He looks at what comes from the heart. In the eyes of God, that may as well be a million dollars because you gave everything that you had. And again, I want to go to scripture. I want to go to the book of Matthew, the 12th chapter. And I'm going to begin at verse 41. And Jesus sat over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury and many that were rich, they cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow and she threw in two mites, which make a farthing. That's about two pennies. 
And he called unto him his disciples and saith unto them, he called the disciples, come over here. And he say unto them, Verily I say unto you that this poor widow has cast more in than all they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. She gave everything that she had. So never, never worry about the amount that you give to this ministry or any other ministry. A lot going on in the world when we're looking at end time Bible prophecy. It's December the 4th and um, there's the, the Bush funeral. Uh, George Herbert Walker Bush and uh, Donald Trump was invited. And But there's more going on behind the scenes and uh, this uh, Robert Mueller special counsel investigation into Russia collusion. I, I've got a bad feeling that something's coming. Something's coming. I believe also that judgment is coming on the United States of America. But uh, the hand of judgment is about to fall on many nations, but especially on the United States of America. I just uh, see dark, dark days ahead. We need to focus now on Jesus and uh, on the love. Talking about agape love last night in our live chat room. When the Holy Spirit falls upon us, that overwhelming, overpowering feeling, we all search a lifetime for love. And it's right there. Right there within our, our grasp. When you accept Jesus and you have the Holy Spirit, to feel just a portion for a moment in time of the love that's flowing all through the heavenly realm and all round and about the throne of the living God. Oh, how he loves us. I love you guys. If you find it in your heart to support this ministry, I'll put all the links below. It's um, a very trying, trying time of year for the homeless and for the poor that have nothing. When we should be giving thanks to God for all that we have and how he's blessed us, I pray that doors will open to those that can make a difference, that can give of their abundance that God has blessed them with to help the least of these, the brethren. For when Jesus was hungry, you gave him meat. When he was thirsty, you gave him drink. When he was a stranger, you took him in. When he was in prison, you came unto him. When he was naked, did you clothe him? I love you guys. All the links will be below in the show more section. Just click on the show more tab. I love you and I'll be back in just a little bit.